This is Dr. David Johnson, Quillen College of Medicine, East Tennessee State University, with a brief video on Factor V Leiden. It's a genetic defect that results in uh, about 40 to 50 percent of the venous thromboembolisms that are that occur also called deep vein thrombosis. And these uh, clots in the legs usually can lead to pulmonary embolisms and uh, be quite dangerous. Heterozygotes for the uh, Factor V Leiden gene, which is a single uh, point mutation, are five to 10 times higher risk for uh, venous uh, thrombosis. Homozygotes are 80 to 100 times more risk if they have both have mutations in both their genes. It's exacerbated by estrogen-containing birth control pills, hormone replacement therapy, and smoking, and some other genetic defects that, that uh, interfere with clotting as well or in, increase clotting, chances of clotting. It's about 5% of the North American Caucasians carry the five, uh, Factor V Leiden gene. It's only 2% Hispanics, 1% African Americans, uh, and w Asians and Native Americans. It is much higher in Northern Europeans, such as Scandinavia area, uh, for some reason. It's thought to lower the risk of massive bleeding after childbirth, and that's why the gene has stayed around. The SNP for it is RS6025, and that is an arg, uh, to arginine to glutamine uh, change mutation, and that happens to be at residue 506 in the amino acid sequence. This is not medical advice, but biochemistry and science. Uh, this is the intrinsic pathway, and you can see factors uh, 12, 11, 9, 10, 2. 2 is thrombin. Uh, once uh, prothrombin gets converted by to thrombin by 10, activates prothrombin to thrombin, and thrombin does all the real work in uh, converting fibrinogen, which is 1, into fibrin, and that forms the uh, basis of the blood clot. And so it's a combination of the intrinsic pathway and the extrinsic pathway links in here as well. So fact, uh, tissue factor activates 7, and 7 activates 10, and then uh, goes on to make the blood clot. Uh, two important uh, cofactors are needed for this. Factor 8 helps 9 activate 10, and factor 5 is needed to, for factor 10 to convert prothrombin to thrombin, which is the biggie at the end. And factor 5 Leiden refers to this factor 5. It's a mutation that was found in the city of Leiden uh, in the Netherlands. And once you get this whole clotting cascade going, you make enough thrombin. The extra thrombin that, uh, left over, the excess thrombin, starts activating protein C. And protein C results in activated protein C. And activated protein C then degrades factors 8 and 5, which are in act, normally active form, to their inactive forms and makes them dead. And this is a proteolytis, proteolysis event because factor uh, protein, active protein C is a serine proteinase, like a lot of the other serine proteinases in the coagulation cascade. And it requires the cofactor protein S, and protein S helps it do its job to cleave up factor eight and factor five and make them dead. And once they're dead, then you stop this whole thing right here, and you don't make any more prothrombin, and it shuts down the coagulation cascade because you, you want it to work where you need it, but you don't want to clot your whole body. So factor V Leiden is uh, one of 2,000 amino acids, is a large protein. And what happens is the excess thrombin binds to thrombomodulin on the, in, on the surface of the endothelial cells. So throm thrombomodulin is on the surface of endothelial cells and the blood vessels lining all our blood vessels. And then the thrombin uh, binds to it and activates it. And then the uh, it act then it cleaves protein uh, activates protein C to uh, active protein C also called APC or activated protein C then plus factor protein S cleaves up five and eight as I showed you earlier to kill them the way it does it is it cleaves at arginine 506 these serine proteinases are very arginine specific and they are particularly are so arge gly specific quite often as well. And so it cleaves at arginine 506 and cleaves this off and you get inactive factor 5. And that's the normal process by which protein C works along with protein S. 
in Factor V Leiden. Uh, due to the glutamine, uh, the protein uh, C recognizes only arginine in this position, to cleave on the carboxyl side of that, and so it can't do it, and then you wind up, so this does not function, and you have active Factor V, and the clotting uh, continues to keep making lots of thrombin, and that's, that results in a clot in the venous embolism. So Factor X, uh, is activated by five. It requires five to do this process, and that goes on to make uh, prothrombin to thrombin, and and you don't want this to continue. So if we cut up five, then we get inactive five and stop this whole process down here at the bottom. Ring out the false pride in place of blood, the civic slander and the spite. Ring in the love of truth and right. Ring in the common love of good. Alfred Lord Tennyson. Thank you.